A little jog around the park is just what we need to clear the cobwebs out of our head after all that homework. Besides, I look absolutely fabulous in my new exercise outfit. She is gorgeous. Huh? huh? I love her. Uh, you've been out in the sun too long. But she's the best. Archie must be talking about one of us. I have to disagree, Betty, dearie. Archie said she's the best. He's obviously talking about me. There's only one way to find out for certain, Veronica, dearie. What? She's the most wonderful, beautiful car in the world. A car is a car, Arch. It's just a thing. Jughead, you have no appreciation of the finer things in life. Betsy is a unique, classic, original. Pal, the only thing unique about this junker is that you gave it a name. No! Oh. Crumbs, Jughead, crumbs! I just vacuumed Betsy's back seat. Sheesh! Sorry! No eating in Betsy. You know the rules. The world has gone topsy-turvy when a car's back seat is more important than a friend's enjoyment of a succulent chocolate chip cookie. How can Archie go so overboard about that old car? I know how to get his mind off his car. Archie, I don't have a date for the spring dance. Do you want to go? Sure, that sounds fun, Betty. That little minx. I was going to get Archie to take me to the spring dance. Mmm, we're going to have so much fun. Oops, looks like I missed a spot. Stand aside, Betty. I'll show you how it's done. Archie Kins, honey. I've decided to let you take me to the movies on Friday. Okay, a Friday night. Movies. We could go to the drive-in. You don't seem very excited, Archie Kins. I think Betsy needs another coat of wax. <gasps> Face it, girls. You have a new rival for Archie's affections. Goes by the name of Betsy. I must be losing my touch. Archie barely noticed I was there. Yeah, it was like talking to a brick wall. It's bad enough when Archie dates you, but this is too humiliating. <sighs> Greetings, lucky ladies. Here I am to bring joy to your small, humdrum lives. <sighs> Why all the long faces? Archie's taking me to the movies Friday, but he's not making his usual big fuss about it. Then forget, Archie. I'll take you. I'll fuss like there's no tomorrow. That's nice, but I don't think so. What about you, Betty? How's about a night on the town with Mantle the Magnificent? No, thanks. I'm too worried about Archie. What's the matter? Don't you two realize I have a magnetic personality? It's not you, Reggie. It's just that Archie seems to care more about his car than the people in his life. Archie's lucky enough to have two beautiful females moping over him, and all he wants to do is work on his car? Why, that's unnatural. That's wasteful. I am morally offended. Archie needs to be set straight, and I'm just the guy to do it. There. You're all hooked up, Betsy. Archie, I want to talk to you. Sure, Reggie. Arch, for some crazy reason, Betty and Veronica think you're wonderful, but you're here with your car. And they're all alone at the malt shop. Your point? Do I have to paint you a picture? You're neglecting the people in your life for this... this thing. Please step away from the car. Yikes! What was that? My new alarm system. I just installed it. Cool, huh? What kind of thief would want to steal a wreck on wheels like this? You're just jealous of Betsy. We don't have to stay here and take your abuse. <laughs> Why would I be jealous of that rattletrap car? I own a new sports car. It drives like a dream. The nerve of Reggie. He just doesn't appreciate true quality. Wow. I've been looking for one of those for months. Dr. Beaumont's Emporium of Curios, Novelties, Antiquities, and Hard Lessons. I've never seen this place before. Must be new. It's perfect for Betsy. Oh. 
Hello? Do not touch the cursed jewelry. Huh? You read a spell book, you've just bought a spell book. What kind of a shop is this? Huh. Twelve badges of love potion, a case of good fortune pendants, four tubes of age removal cream. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm placing a long distance order. Oh, and a couple of bottles of that yummy vinaigrette salad dressing you guys make. Hey, can you get it here by Friday, Manny? Uh huh. Good. Ah, young Archie Andrews. How are you this wonderful spring afternoon? You... you know my name? Yes, I, the mysterious Dr. Horatio Beauregard Beaumont, know many things. Gonna have to get this light fixture fixed one of these days. So, what brings you to Dr. Beaumont's Emporium of Curios, Novelties, Antiquities, and Hard Lessons? I'd like to buy... A card entitling you to full borrowing privileges at the Library of Alexandria? Uh, no. The Amulet of Good Grooming. Not really. A compact disc of Ron Dante's greatest hits. Actually, how much are you charging for those dice? I strongly recommend not buying those. There are some very nasty consequences attached to owning those dice. But I gotta have them. They're perfect for my car. How much? Very well. Hmm. I'd say, ooh, $21.43. That's exactly what I have in my pocket. What a break. Now, I don't want to take this money if there's something else or someone else you should be spending it on. I'd be terribly upset if, say, you couldn't go on a Friday movie date because you didn't have this money. I'm only speaking hypothetically here, but this date might be with a raven-haired rich young lady, sometimes a little spoiled and impatient. First name starts with a V. These will look wonderful hanging from Betsy's rearview mirror. I always hate it when they go for the hard lessons. Now to see what this looks like. Perfect. Beautiful. Worth every penny I spent on them. Nothing's too good for my Betsy. Ah, that should take care of that little knocking noise in your engine, Betsy. Hot work, Betsy. I've got to hand it to you, pal. For a doomed man, you're doing a good job of keeping your cool. What do you mean, doomed man? You're supposed to pick up Veronica in 15 minutes. When you show up looking like that, she's gonna kill you. My date with Veronica? I forgot! Archie, forgetting a date with Veronica? It's getting so you can't count on anything nowadays. All this fuss for what? Just another expensive date with Veronica. Expensive date? I forgot. <gasps> I'm broke. I spent my allowance on the dice for Betsy. Broke on a date with Veronica. I'll miss you, buddy. Where should we send the flowers for your funeral? Oh, Jughead amigo. Oh, no. You're not doing what I think you're doing. Come on, Jughead, float me a 20 until my next allowance. Keep away. You're subverting the natural order of the universe. I'm supposed to mooch off you, not the other way around. Please, Jughead, it's a matter of life or death. Please, I'm begging on my knees. <laughs> okay, okay, just don't cry. Here, but let's keep this our little secret. This could ruin my reputation. Thanks, Jughead. I feel so... Used. We'll have a bite to eat at Pops and then to the movies. This is like having the old you back. Admit it, Archiekins. It's more fun spending time with your friends than working on your car all day. Well, I don't know. Let me rephrase then. It's more fun spending time with me than working on your car all day. What's wrong? I, I don't... 
Oh no, the steering wheel just twisted down this road. That was peculiar. Betsy's a classic car. All classic cars drive a little eccentric. Archikins, I know classic cars, and this is no classic car. Whoa! Ugh. You all right, Veronica? I think so. Ah, here we are, Pop Tate's Chocolate Shop. Whew. Not a moment too soon. Who knows when this wreck of yours will fall apart completely? Oh, I can't breathe. Get it off me. It's almost like that car was doing that deliberately. That's ridiculous. How could Betsy do that? Come on, let's get dinner. I suppose you're right. I still don't understand what Archie sees in this disaster on wheels. Now, nah, it couldn't be. Yow! This is fun. I guess maybe I haven't been spending enough time with my friends lately. Well, just as long as you spend a little more time chasing me. Sometimes it seems like I'm doing everything I can to get your attention, but you're too busy to notice. Oh, Archikins. If I'm not careful, I could really fall for you. Veronica. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but your car has Reggie cornered up that street lamp. I'm tired of everyone knocking Betsy. I like my car. You know why? Because she's reliable. Betsy's always there for you. Well, your beloved Betsy isn't in her parking place. Look for yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, that looks like an innocently parked car to me. But... Come on, I'm taking you home. This date is over. I don't know why all my friends are so jealous of Betsy. Wait, Archiekins. Let's not fight. Please step away from Archie Andrews. This means <gasps> you, Veronica Lodge. Did your car just talk to me? Betsy? You were warned, Veronica Lodge. Ah! That's it. That's it. You can take Betsy to the movie. I'm taking a cab home. You you, you spoke, and you squirted oil all over Veronica. Ah, oh, I never understood what you saw in her. Besides, you don't need her. Not when you have me. Get in. I don't really like any of your friends. I don't think you should see them anymore. Oh, here, let me. The way I see it, if you dump all your friends completely, you can spend more time with me. And I do mean all your time. See how nice it is when all those friends aren't hanging around ruining things? It's so much better when it's just you and me. It has been fun, but let's head home. Oh, do we have to? We've been driving around since last night. I need to get some sleep. You're not planning to sneak off to meet that rotten Betty at the spring dance, are you? Don't be silly. Why would I want to spend time with Betty when I could be with you? What are you doing, Archie? I'm putting you in the garage. It looks like it might rain later tonight. You're so thoughtful. Maybe after you take a nap, you can give me an oil change. Won't that be more fun than going to some lousy dance? You bet. You don't need anyone else, Archie. Just me. Right. Archie? What are you doing? I'm going to the spring dance. I want to spend some time with real people. You're just a machine. You tricked me. When I get back, I'm going to figure out how to change you back to a normal car. Well, so you 
you'd rather be with your friends than with me. Maybe if I got rid of them, you wouldn't have a choice but to spend time with me. <coughs> I can't believe the dance is over and still no Archie. I tell you, Archie's not coming, Betty. He's gone all soft in the head for that strange car of his. I hope he's okay. Look, here he comes. That's Archie's car, all right. And no one's driving it, just like yesterday. Looks like it's headed straight for us. It's headed straight for us! I hope I'm not too late to save the gang. Oh, no! Chuck, Nancy, what happened? Is everyone all right? Somebody's out-of-control car smashed through the doors. Nancy and I were locking up after the dance. We managed to get into the locker room before we were hurt. Did you see the gang? Betty, Veronica, Reggie, and Jughead ran out those doors a few moments before the car busted out through them. It was almost like that car was deliberately chasing them. I've never seen Jughead move so fast! You can't stay up there forever. We can sure try. Once I get rid of you four, I'll have Archie all to myself. Can't we discuss this? I know a nice European luxury sedan. You'd make a lovely couple. I'll introduce you. Jughead! I'm falling! Yeah! Try to eat cookies in my back seat, will you? Huh? Ah! How could you prefer them to me? They're my friends. They're people. You're just a thing. Where'd they go? Here they come again! You betrayed me for mere flesh and blood! Whoa! Of course! The dice! This all started after I put the dice on the mirror! Just get up! Archiekins, are you all right? I'm fine, now that my friends are safe. I've got you, old buddy. Hold steady. Hang on to me, Archie. No, me, Archiekins. Well, Betsy seems to be normal again. Yeah, but what a wreck. Sorry, Archiekins. It'll take you weeks to repair all that damage. I guess we won't be seeing much of you until you get Betsy running again. I'll get some auto shop to fix Betsy. I'd rather spend time with my friends. That's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Archie's, Archie's back. back. We missed you, Archie kids. Can't leave these lying around where anyone could pick them up. Not everyone needs to learn this lesson. So there you have it, dear readers. This week's Archie's Weird Mysteries column. But I'd like to close with one final thought. A pair of dice possessing a car and turning it into an intelligent and jealous monster is definitely hard to believe. But even harder to believe is that I allowed myself to forget that people are more important than things. How that could happen is probably one of the weirdest mysteries that ever happened in a little town called Riverdale.